everyone. I have been wanting to do a travel packing video or two for you guys for a little while and I just got back from a relatively quick trip late last night and I went on another last week and I thought, you know, what better time to film something for y'all? I don't know. I feel like I have been traveling fairly often for the past several years, whether it be for business or for fun and you know family and personal stuff and I've learned some things over the years that kind of help streamline the way I pack. You know, I used to not be able to carry on a plane to save my life, especially once they implemented the 311 rule where you have to have, you know, every container be 3.4 ounces or 100 milliliters or less and fit inside that single quart size clear bag. And I think a lot of people are like that. I mean, you know, I would just go ahead and check a bag because it was just easier than trying to figure out how to make all my liquids fit in that bag. So, you know, I, I thought it would be good for me just to kind of share with you guys some things that I do and, and how I tweak it to make it work for me when I am not checking a bag, when I'm carrying on a plane, whether it's for you know a, a one night trip or a five night trip, I can make it work now. Um, relatively easy and I, part of it is that I, I, I try to keep some of this stuff packed all the time and it it can stay packed all the time once you do it I'll just start off with my liquids bag which I mean everyone is gonna need whether you're carrying on or whether you're checking in a bag so this is what I use you don't have to go out and buy something special you can use a quart size Ziploc bag that you get from your pantry. This I just happened to find years ago. I'm not affiliated in any way. I don't even know if they still make these anymore. <laughs> Aircourt by flannabags.com. I'll put a link below if they do still make them. But um, this is what it looks like, and you know, it's got all my stuff in it, and I'm going to unload it and go through it with you guys. So um, you can fill a quart size bag as full as you can get it. As long as it will close you can bring it through security I like this bag because you can you can shove anything in here and zip it and it will not bust or it hasn't on me and I, I think I've had this bag for five or six years I don't know it's been a while and I mean I have squeezed this zipper shut and it's still going strong so if I tried to do what I have done with this with a ziploc bag from my pantry things would be busting. I'm not a fan of the pre-packaged, the stiff quart size containers that you find in Target, Walmart, Walgreens, CVS that have the bottles already in them because I find that a lot of times those bottles are really big. You end up bringing half a bottle of stuff and then you are wasting tons of room with an empty bottle. They're not pliable and you cannot fit hardly anything in those bags. They don't move with the product. I don't like those. I think you are missing a lot of stuff that you could stick in there. So a flexible bag, even if it is a disposable Ziploc. So, okay, I digress. I'm just gonna unload it as I go. The lighting is a little bit different in here because it's nighttime and it's just a little more dim. So I apologize for that. Um, okay, I was able to get both of my Tarte Shape Tapes in here and the first leg of my trip, they weren't in here. I put them in my makeup section of my regular bag. So sometimes they count them as liquids and sometimes they don't. I guess it depends on your security person, but you know, I just stuck them in there on the way back because I was going through Atlanta and I figured they're pretty stringent sometimes. I bring a bottle of Downy Wrinkle Releaser on every trip I go on because I hate to iron and I take my clothing out, I hang it up, I spray this on and kind of tug at it a little bit and it gets out a ton of wrinkles. I wish it came in a smaller bottle, but I like the spray that this gives so I don't decant. Can y'all see what my dog's doing back there? <laughs> Sorry. Um, anyway, I just, I, I like this stuff. So if you can find this and you hate to iron like I do, you might want to pick this up and bring this with you too. It's kind of worth taking up some room in that, in that uh, liquids bag. Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. That's the travel size that you know you may feel like you're a sucker for getting it at the checkout at Sephora. 
but it's good for travel. And you can refill it with your larger bottle if this runs low. I'm really big on keeping travel size and sample sizes of stuff and refilling them as you go. For shampoo and conditioner, you guys may be okay with the hotel shampoo and conditioner. My hair is really fine and dry and um, I just find that I like to bring my own shampoo and conditioner for this trip. I just brought these, but I've refilled this so many times I can't even count. So I, this just keeps coming with me. This is just my protectant and my heat protectant and color protectant. I did bring body lotion and it's kind of big for a trip as short as I just took. Um, I could fit it, so I brought it. Sometimes I'll bring a smaller one than that. Um, another hair treatment. Uh, you know, all your hair treatments that are liquids pretty much have to go in here. So I just brought that. Um, and then a travel size hairspray. I just think, you know, for me, if it's making a trip to Ulta to get a travel size of a hairspray that I like, I will do that because that is important to me. I also love the fact that my primer is made in travel size. So I keep refilling this with my Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. But if your primer is not in a travel size or available in a travel size. I am a huge fan of decanting things into contact lens cases, as you can see here. Some of these are very old and the design is no longer on here. And you can tell I like my label maker. But, um, okay, I have treatments, eye cream, moisturizers, whatever I can decant into travel size containers, I will do so. And in this one is my foundation. I decant my foundation. There's no reason for me to bring a bottle of foundation on a trip. You won't need that much foundation on a trip. I can guarantee you. I even decant my facial oil into an old eyedropper bottle. I just, um, pop this little top part off. I'm hoping you can see that. This little part separates right here. You can just kind of tilt it and pop it off and rinse it out. And then I drop my facial oil in there. And now I have a travel size of my facial oil. I don't have to worry about a glass container and decant. And this is actual eye drops. <laughs> so I do bring eye drops and saline or nasal spray, whatever floats your boat. Planes are very dehydrating. Hotels are very dehydrating and my sinuses always end up acting up and I end up stopped up. So I do bring nasal remedies and eye drops with me. My cleanser, I think this is from the container store. They have really great containers that are pretty much leak proof. I mean, this will not even pop up, you know, just very easily at all. So I bring that label maker and you don't need a label maker. I just like it. Um, I bring a sample vial of perfume because, you know, I, I neglect using them. Otherwise I bring my lip balm and eye makeup remover because if you've watched any of my other videos, you know I cannot find anything that will remove eye makeup in wipe form. And I bring the smallest size of hand lotion that I can because I can't live without hand lotion. So that is everything. No, it's not. I don't know where it is. But I also will have another little tiny vial of perfume that has been emptied and cleaned out and has my... Um, hair finishing oil. I have been using that Bumble and Bumble hairdresser's invisible oil and I've taken a perfume vial, the kind that aren't the spray that you just pop the top off and I put that oil into there and I use that as my container for my hairdresser's invisible oil. So I must have taken that out already. So that is everything that was in this liquids bag and it all fit beautifully. And that's a lot of stuff. I mean, that is, I didn't count it, but that's, that's like 32 products that was in that bag. That's a lot of stuff. I'm pretty impressed with myself. Once you go through security, you can do whatever you want with the liquids and put them in your purse, put them in your tote bag, put them in your overhead bin. But at least you got through security and you didn't have to check your bag. So moving on to toiletries. 
So if I'm checking a bag, things are allocated differently. I don't worry as much, I really don't worry at all about the 311 rule except for things that I want on the plane with me and that would be a whole different video. This is just if I am not checking a bag. So a lot of the toiletries have now been allocated to this liquids bag and so a lot of my toiletry bag has been freed up. So now in my toiletry bag, I am able to fit my toiletries and my makeup in here. On one side, it's got this nice little plastic section where I keep toiletry items and it's got this zipper pouch where I keep medications. On the other side, it's got a spot for makeup brush. I have it upside down, but you get the gist. It's got the side for makeup brushes and a mesh section where I keep makeup. Can you see that? Okay. In the plastic side where the toiletries are, I have this Venus Snap razor that I just got recently because I kept switching my razor from my shower to um, my bag when I would travel and it was just silly. And this is so tiny and I like that it goes inside something in case I shave the morning that I'm getting on the plane and need to come home and it, it's got holes in it to air out and it, I just like it and it fits in there so nicely. I also put my Q-tips inside a prescription bottle. They fit perfectly. I just find that hotel conditioner works beautifully for shave cream, so that's what I use. Um, that's just me, so I just, it's something else that would take up room otherwise. Facial wipes for removing makeup. Um, what else is in here? I have a hair tie and a barrette. You don't need to see that in deodorant. And my toothbrush and toothpaste are in there too and I just bring them in this little bag that I got from my dentist and there are some earplugs thrown in there. I have earplugs in various places and I do keep a roll <laughs> of this tape. This is just 3M medical, some kind of medical tape. Um, it's got like a kind of a grid pattern here. I keep that in here because some people will use saran wrap and a rubber band if they're worried about something leaking and I would just always tape lids on with this because it's like glue it really works well in the medicine little zipper compartment that you saw with the medicines i keep just band-aids in here and i keep a nail file and clippers i put some cortisone and um, bacitracin um, which is like neosporin um, in a contact lens container how cute is this contact lens container from target um, i keep blister blockers the modium mucinex I keep nail polish remover pads in case, just in case. I mean, who knows? I got these from Target. I think they have them at Ulta too. But you know, it's something that's not a liquid. In the brush pouch, I've got brushes and I've got, I think, a mascara in there, brow pencil, tweezers. I mean, you know, just your usual stuff. I bring one lip liner and two lipsticks. On every trip that's it I limit myself to that on the makeup side let's see one thing that I do whether I'm checking a bag or carrying on is um, in all of my compacts I will put a cotton pad in there just to help ensure that they won't get broken if they're jostled around that was the bronzer that I just showed you I we'll use that just as bronzer and contour. It's just one less thing I have to bring. I bring one brush for bronzer and like for contour, I'll just kind of like taper it a little bit with my fingers and, and use it that way. It's just, even if it's just one last thing, it's one last thing, you know? So like one thing that I do when I travel with powders, <laughs> this is gonna look really kind of funny. Here is the container of Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And here is a container of, it was like a sample or a gift with purchase or something. So, and I think this is actually for the universal powder, which I don't, I don't like. Um, but I emptied it out and I don't even think there's a filter in here or a screen, whatever you call it. It's just open. I, I don't care. Um, I just put some secret brightening powder in here and I travel with this as my secret brightening powder travel container and here is the actual container of Laura Mercier translucent powder and here is an old container of Laura Mercier secret brightening powder which once it emptied I used this as my translucent powder travel container did that make sense at all 
<laughs> so I look like a Laura Mercier powder nut, but it just happens to be what I like. And if I did switch loose powders at some point, I could still use this container for my travel powder container. So instead of looking like this, when I travel with powder, I look like this, which is a little bit better and more streamlined, I think. Um, and then I just, I bring a palette. I don't bring any other shadows but a palette. This time I brought my Tartlet and Bloom palette. It was just easy, um, very versatile. And I think that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna do a separate video for traveling tips and then just general packing tricks as far as you know carrying on what I bring in a tote bag and, and how I pack a carry-on and things like that in a different video. I just wanted to kind of share with you those small little things that can make a big difference as far as being able to fit all your toiletries into that Ziploc bag so that you can actually carry on a bag. And you know, I'm able to get my makeup and all my toiletries in this one bag and that is a big deal i've always carried on two different bags and i think most people do that's kind of the normal thing to do but to be able to have your makeup and toiletries in one bag um that's kind of something that's a little bit different for me over the past year it is easier because when you're in a hotel sometimes hotel countertops are limited in space you can hang it over a doorknob you can have it on the counter and just flip between the sides it's just a little bit easier hope this was helpful i hope you enjoyed the video today and if you have not subscribed yet i would love it if you did and i will see you in my next video thank you so much Bye bye